Hello, my name is Jim Garrett, and in this short video, I'd like to talk about a tool known as OpenSCAP. But before we talk about OpenSCAP, we first need to learn about what SCAP is and what features it provides. Several years back, the U.S. government realized that the security hardening of computer systems had to be a top priority, and they decided to create a standardized checklist that any government computer would follow when hardening the system against external threats and attacks. This standardized checklist became known as SCAP, which stands for Security Content Automation Protocol. And it's this protocol that is used when standardized compliance checking is applied to any enterprise level Linux infrastructure. This line of specifications for maintaining system security for enterprise systems is maintained by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, otherwise known as NIST. Now that we know what SCAP is, what exactly is OpenSCAP? Well, back when SCAP was being defined, the engineers at Red Hat began meeting with NIST. Their goal was to create an open source project that took the standards defined by SCAP and provide a way to automatically apply those standards to any Linux operating system. It was in this interaction between the US government and Red Hat that spawned the OpenSCAP initiative. And in short, OpenSCAP is simply an auditing tool that utilizes the security content automation protocol to create an SCAP expressed checklist that can be processed by an SCAP validated product. When you apply to this to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, OpenSCAP became an integral part of the RHEL operating system where an administrator could import the SCAP standards into the tool and use this to analyze and report upon the vulnerabilities of the operating system. This report could then be leveraged by any SCAP validated product to remediate the system and harden it against vulnerabilities. With OpenSCAP, there are two significant areas where the standards can be applied. The first is with security compliance. The challenge is that companies often don't follow good security practices and systems that were once secure accidentally become insecure through inadvertent modifications. Modifications like opening a port in the firewall or not changing the default root password. As a result, the effort to constantly enforce security and compliance must be a continuous process. And to do this effectively, system administrators need to make adjustments to policies as well as periodic assessments and risk monitoring. The OpenSCAP ecosystem provides tools and customizable policies for a quick and flexible implementation of these processes. After, secu after security compliance, the second area where OpenSCAP is applied is vulnerability assessment. Leaving your systems with unpatched vulnerabilities can have a number of consequences. And the consequences range from simple embarrassment to heavy damage when a vulnerability is exploited by an attacker. Take, for example, the occurrence where the Colonial Pipeline experienced a cyber attack, which resulted in the entire pipeline being shut down. In this case, the system was attacked by ransomware, which was successful in encrypting the entire hard drive and locking the system until the ransom was paid. It's very fair to say that if the Colonial Pipeline system administrators had been doing regular vulnerability checks, followed by remediation, that this issue may never have happened. This example drives home the fact that a timely inspection of software inventory that identifies vulnerabilities is a must for any organization. This is exactly where the OpenSCAP can be leveraged as it provides tools for automated vulnerability checking, allowing you to take steps to prevent attacks before they happen. This begs the question, what about Red Hat Enterprise Linux and OpenSCAP? RHEL has multiple ways actually to apply the OpenSCAP security policies. The first feature where RHEL can apply the current SCAP policies is during installation. As you see on the left image, out of the box, RHEL provides a way to apply security policies during the installation. With this, you can guarantee that the system is properly configured 
at the time of installation, which implies that a hacking bot will not be able to deploy a virus to the RHEL server when it's exposed to the outside world. Has anyone ever had this happen? Ironically, I had this happen once. I had just in, finished installing a new operating system and not five minutes later was questioned by a security officer. He claimed that his detection tools determined a virus was on my brand new server, which obviously was missing critical security patches during the installation. So this feature of RHEL is great. However, what do you do when the OS is already installed and you want to run a security and vulnerability check for new viruses and ransomware exploits? Or what if you simply want to check to make sure someone has an access to the machine and accidentally modified something that would break the security policy? For example, opening a port in the firewall. To accommodate this challenge, RHEL provides an open SCAP user interface that's capable of downloading the latest policies and running security checks against those policies. The byproduct is a report of all the issues with the system. Once the report is generated, RHEL can also generate Ansible playbooks capable of remediating the challenges produced by the report. So what about these playbooks? Can they be leveraged by other Red Hat products, products like Red Hat Satellite and Ansible Tower? Of course, the answer is absolutely. I actually have a workshop where I demonstrate how to configure and perform an open SCAP scan using playbooks in Ansible Tower with Satellite. The process initiates with first using Red Hat Satellite to define a new security policy and then push the policy out to a pool of RHEL servers. Once the policy is deployed, we then leverage Ansible Tower to execute a predefined Ansible playbook used to actually run the compliance and vulnerability check. When the check is completed, then we go back into satellite to view the report that is produced. It's important to note that you don't need both Red Hat Satellite and Ansible Tower to facilitate the running of the OpenSCAP utility. In this use case, these were used because they provide great synergy for data center administrators looking to be vigilant about scanning and remediating security and vulnerability issues within their environments. If you'd like to learn more about OpenSCAP, please visit www.opensgap.org. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful.